How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here, and you are watching Nature Now. So please forgive this wind. It's nine degrees out now, and with this intense wind, it's more like four degrees with the wind chill. It is bitter cold. However, <laughs> check this video out. Looking back, like any kid, there was a handful of insects that I learned to ID at an early age. They were the landmark bugs, butterflies, fireflies, my favorite, bees, another one you learn about at an early age, ladybugs, praying mantises, grasshoppers, and of course, ants. And then, my mom introduced me to the amusing click beetle, or what I like to call the funny seed. And no, I'm not talking about the giant ones in like some of my previous videos. I'm actually talking about the common variety. If you aren't familiar with this insect already, get ready for some fun. As their name implies, they are beetles. They are brown and elongated and rather simple in appearance, looking like a smooth seed or something. While they can fly, they are often seen walking about leaf litter, or more often than not, you'll see them on trees, plants, and flowers, usually at night. If you leave your porch light on for a couple hours at night, I'm sure you'll see some. What makes them special is their unique way of getting back on their feet if they're on their backs. They'll snap their head forwards and somersault into the air and land on their feet. This action makes the clicking sound that they are named after. I suspect it even helps them get free from a bird's beak if need be. Now the spot where the thorax joins the abdomen is where the action is and there's a spine that snaps into a corresponding notch. When it slips out of the notch, the violent action causes them to catapult up into the air, many inches in fact. They have many relatives, almost a thousand species. One species, known as the eyed oculatus, is pretty impressive and is capable of the same thing. Here's a clip from one of my previous videos of the eyed oculatus in action. Any second he'll do it. He's impressive. Yeah, that he is. is. So cool. There you uh, go. There you go. As adults, click beetles don't cause much trouble, but their larval form, known as the wire worm, is actually considered a significant agricultural pest to some crops. They can't bite or sting us, so it's fun to interact with them. Next time you see one, why not try and impress your friends with it? It'll be a lot of fun. Well, I hope you had some fun with this video and were amused. In the future, I plan to actually have a video with some of their larvae and show some in-depth information on how their, their mechanism actually works. But until then, we've got this video. So once again, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, having fun with nature, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit.